Dr. Shah, thanks so much for joining me today. Thank you. So you, a lot of your work is revolves around child poverty and actually preventable child death. Uh, and this conference is all about innovation. Have there been any innovations on that front? Well, actually, you know, there are more than six million children under the age of five will die this year around the world. And more than 90% of those deaths are in very resource poor parts of the world. The reason I'm confident we can end preventable child death is precisely because there are tremendous innovations. New vaccines, new drugs, new diagnostics, new ways of using mobile phones to help connect very difficult to reach communities around the world to the kinds of solutions that will ultimately save more than six million kids a year. So you say your goal is to end, completely end preventable child death. Is that a realistic goal? What's the time frame for that? Well, yeah, I believe that's achievable between now and 2030 or 2035. Um, I just finished a term leading USAID, which has 70 missions around the world and more than 10,000 staff. The United States government has been the leading investor in child health for two decades. And frankly, we reach millions and millions of vulnerable children with everything from oral rehydration solution to new vaccines. So it is possible. We have a platform to reach these kids. And if we do this work with purpose and focus and we measure results, we can get there. You mentioned a few of the interventions that the, the government supports. Are there any areas in which you think we could really use some improvement? I think data and the, the ability to see in real time where children are dying because they're not getting simple vaccines, where children are suffering because they don't have access to basic health care, and then pointing our engine of solutions towards those pockets of need. And what that means is even in a place like Kenya, for example, it probably means more health care services being provided in urban slums and difficult to reach rural communities, which is where the children actually die when they get ill, as opposed to in more middle class environments. So that kind of real time data mapping, targeting, geolocating needs and targeting solutions is what I believe will make a difference in actually allowing us to save these six million lives a year. So when you're talking about a subject like child death, how do you keep the world and your audience interested? It's such a big subject, and I think some find it very overwhelming. Well, I find it overwhelming, but you know, today is Good Friday, and uh, I have found in my work in government and in philanthropy that people around the world want their lives to have meaning and purpose. That's as true if they're senators in the United States Senate or presidents of countries or philanthropists or healthcare workers. And this is a cause we can all get behind. This is a cause that can give us a sense of purpose and accomplishment. And this is the right way to use our capacity to innovate and our tremendous access to technology to save children's lives and create more stability, more peace, and more harmony in many parts of the world. And what do you hope to get out of a conference like Child X to help you achieve these goals? Well, I'm excited to be here because I want to meet innovators and people who have new ideas and fresh ideas for how to identify these kids, how to reach them with better technologies, how to see what kinds of lives they're living and, and come up with new ways to get low-cost solutions to them. Uh, the student community in particular has always been one that innovates and has a kind of inherent sense of purpose. And so I'm excited to be with students and faculty and experts who are going to lead this charge. What drew you to this sort of work? Well, I went, uh, as we discussed, to medical school and wanted to be a pediatrician and then realized that, you know, there's actually this incredible opportunity to save so many children's lives. And I visited more than 45 countries in the last five years as a representative of the Obama administration. And I've seen that when we lead with our values and when we put our sort of best foot forward, we can actually succeed at shaping the kind of world we all want to live in. So I'm very motivated. I think it's a great field for young people to commit themselves to, and I think we're going to succeed at this task. I'm so impressed with the work you do, and I really appreciate your speaking with me today. Thank, Thank you, you, Dr. Shaw. Thanks very much.